Miles Monroe is amazing me. Listen, he is talking about God's big idea. He is awesome, and I'm amazed. My Lord, where do you get where do you get all this knowledge about the kingdom of God? You blew me away yesterday. May I say that, sir? And I cannot believe the information you gave us. It's just still my head is buzzing, you know. Thank God. Here we are sitting. Oh, wow. You talked about God's big idea. One more time. Just give me the headlines that you yes. gave yesterday, and we'll, we'll go from there. 6.7 billion people on earth, Pastor Benny, are seeking for the same thing. And the answer is good government. Every nation spends billions of dollars every year or every five years to vote in a new government because people believe that the answers to Earth's problem is government. This is why the presidential races in all countries are such a big deal. Now, listen, he is not talking about a new government in America <laughs> or in Africa. He is talking about talking about God's government coming to the earth. We need a new government, therefore we need God's kingdom on the earth. <laughs> well, just in, case somebody, just in case somebody's thinking new government, uh, yeah, we're into an election year. <laughs> that's hang not, on, hang that's on. what we're talking about. No, but yeah. you think about it, this is why we put so much emphasis on governments. Every nation. Because in the human heart, deep inside, the humans believe that their problems can be solved by a better government. Every nation does. Absolutely. Do you know that desire for a new government is a natural human desire? Because that's exactly what man lost. Humans lost, not a religion, they lost a government. The first thing that God gave Adam My God, in the true. book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26, was dominion. The word dominion is the Hebrew word radach, R-A-D-A-H, and it means kingdom. The word is also translated mamlakak throughout the Old Testament as That's well. Right. It's the word kingdom. A kingdom is the governing influence of a king over a territory, impacting it with his will, his purpose, his intent, to produce a citizenry of people who reflect the king's morals, values. So we're about to vote the devil out, brother. I know what you're saying. I love it. The, the devil is me. about to lose the election. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> Woo, I love so it. when Adam disobeyed God, he lost a government. Yeah, exactly. And God's original idea was to colonize earth with the kingdom of heaven so that earth becomes a reflection of what heaven is like in every way. Thank you, Jesus. God's plan was to colonize earth with the country of heaven so that earth could be filled with the culture of heaven. See, the most powerful thing in any country is culture. Listen, listen, you've got to say that again. This is awesome. One more time, run that again. God's entire big idea, still is his idea, is to was to extend his kingdom of heaven on earth as a colony, to fill the earth as a colony of heaven with the culture of heaven. So the colony brings the culture. We're going to talk about that now. A colony is only possible in kingdoms. Only kingdoms colonize. Democracies don't colonize. Matter of fact, when democracies attempt to colonize, they call it occupation. Colonization is what kingdoms do. Why? Kingdoms expand because a kingdom's glory is in territory. In other words, the more territory a kingdom has, the greater its glory. Okay, now, before you go on to kingdom, colony, and culture, which I'm <laughs> dying to hear, I want you to repeat some of what you said yesterday yeah. about God's idea. His idea was... Let us make man. Yes. Let this man have dominion over everything on this earth. Then the devil came up with an idea that polluted God's idea in yes, his absolutely. life. And what God is saying to you is renew your mind, meaning come back to, to the, the original, original ideas idea. of God. Absolutely. And that's what Paul meant when Paul says, you see, God's big idea is a very simple idea. And that is he wanted to colonize earth with heaven. So he created the planet, he created the whole universe, he chose nine planets in a solar system, he chose the third planet from the sun in that solar system, he designed it to sustain life, and then he put his spirit children and earth bodies on the planet and told us, Genesis 1.26, have dominion over this planet. 
So God's purpose for creating man is not to take him to heaven, but to actually dominate earth. The question, Pastor Benny, is what did he want earth to be dominated with? You know, if I tell you to dominate this room, you should ask me with what? Well, God's answer is simple. He wanted man to dominate earth with the kingdom of heaven. That's that means, it. and how do you know if a kingdom dominates a place? Well, it takes on the culture of the place. Now, Adam, therefore, was designed by God, his whole species, human race, to become a colony of heaven on earth. You know, when Adam disobeyed God, he declared independence from heaven. So earth became an independent colony, which means it became an independent uh, nation. So when you declare... It separated itself from heaven. Exactly. Yeah. See, I was born in a colony in 1954. And in 1973, up to 19th century, we lived under a kingdom. Wow. In 73, we declared independence <clears throat> from the kingdom. Do you know what happens? There was a man living in that colony all my life. His name was the governor from England. He was a white British man. His job was to make us just like England. He lived in the island among us. And he made us speak English. He made us drink tea. He made us drive on the left hand side of the street. He made us wear English clothes. He made us study English history. He made us study all the wives of Henry VIII and all Sir Walter Raleigh. In other words, he made us British people because he lived among us. That's exactly what God did with the Holy Spirit. See, when you want to convert a colony into the kingdom, you got to send a governor to live among the people, and he converts their mind. Okay, to now back to kingdom. Adam. Adam basically, by declaring independence, pulled earth away from heaven. That's what I'm going to get to. Because you see, when you declare independence, the first person that has to leave is the governor. And in 1973, at 12 midnight, the Bahamas declared independence from its kingdom. And that governor, that white man, became illegal that night at 12.01. He had to go back to England the next day immediately. Why? When you declare independence, you lose the government of the kingdom. And the benefits that kingdom gives you. We don't you. get to that. That's yeah. important. See, when the governor goes, the government leaves. When the government leaves, all the benefits leave. So you become your own government. You have to create our own government in the Bahamas. When Adam declared independence from heaven, the Holy Spirit left. The Bible says the Holy Spirit could not strive with men anymore. He left. So Adam had developed his own government. Of course, another spirit moved in and began to contaminate the whole territory, Satan. And do you know the first act of that government was? Murder in the family. And we've not recovered since. When we govern ourselves, we kill our own brothers. Look at the world. Do you know, we, make, we build buildings, then we bomb them. We make weapons, then we kill our own brothers with them. We make medicines, and then we withhold them from those who are sick. In other words, the whole spirit hasn't changed. We are still under that curse of independence. Do you know, I'm going to say something very strange here. The big idea of God, this book, is about something that we don't want to talk about. It's about recolonization. See, when you declare independence from a kingdom, you throw off the influence of the king and the government of the, of the kingdom. And so when Jesus was promised in Genesis chapter 3, when God says, I am going to send the seed of a woman yep. in the woman's womb, he will come and he will crush the serpent's head. Now we know the serpent's head means authority. That's the government of the, of the snake. That's the power where the snake is. That's where his real venom is. That's where his power is. He said he's coming to take back the power that Satan stole from Adam yep. and crush his head. And then Jesus says, no man can come into a strong man's house until he first binds a strong man and then turns the spoils back over to the children. That's it. So when Jesus Christ was prophesied in Isaiah awesome. chapter 9, it says he's coming with the government upon his shoulders. And when he comes, the increase of his government shall not end. Yep. So Christ came to earth to bring God's idea back, and that is the kingdom of heaven back. Do you know, no country that has ever been a colony that have de declared independence have ever been recolonized. None. God's idea is to recolonize earth again with That's heaven. Matter of fact, name. Christ says when you pray, don't pray for food and clothes and car and house and land. He says... Don't worry about those things. Yeah, they'll, they'll come with the kingdom. <laughs> oh, no. He says, exactly. He says, when you pray, pray like this.